Hello Internet, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. I wanted to give you just a splash of some of the things I saw at Cinegear Expo 2012. But I wanted to show you some of the gear that will enable you to get more dynamic shots when you're mounting your camera in places other than a tripod or handheld or shoulder mount. Say for example you have access to this beautiful Area Alexa camera and you want to be able to mount it up somewhere higher than you are but still be able to control it from the ground. Hot Gears has been making camera control systems for the last 15 years. They make two and three axis heads that are completely remote controlled from a dashboard. They also make them for smaller cameras like this SI 2K that you see here, as well as your typical DSLR rig. You can rent these setups. So if you need camera control mounted from an apparatus, Hot Gears, check them out, hotgears.com. It's Filmotechnic USA Camera Car Systems. You can just imagine how many Hollywood movies these rigs have been used on. They were showing off one of their new trucks that they had created, as well as a Mercedes that they had all rigged up, and a motorcycle. These are flying stabilized heads that are rigged on extendable cranes from custom cars. The footage they get with these rigs on these cars is amazing. Seriously, check it out. These guys make aerial cinematography systems. The system you're looking at here is a Cinestar 8. They also have a Cinestar 6. And mounted to the bottom, they have a 2-axis gimbal, and they have a 3-axis gimbal as seen separated here. That gives the operator a 360-degree pan, tilt, and roll access. If you've seen Chase Jarvis's Nikon D7000 video or Vincent Laferre's Mobius video, then you've seen some of the footage that these guys can get with these systems. And you can also purchase these systems from Quadrocopter US. The guys from Bot and Dolly are geniuses. This is true robotic motion control. This is what they call the Iris 21st Century Motion Control System. In using software, you can completely visualize the camera movement and set it up so that it's completely programmed to the millisecond. Go to BottenDolly.com and check out some of their videos to see some of the really unique dynamic camera movement that they can get with this system. That's BottenDolly.com. Okay, that's it from me from Cinegear 2012. I hope this got you thinking about some ways you might get some dynamic shots. Bye for now.